may have done this art lesson with me. In this art lesson, we drew lots of different kinds of lines in little boxes. Well, today we're going to use those lines to create silly looking people. They all have different hair, different ears, different eyes and noses and mouths. So to start, I'm going to make eight ovals for heads. I'm going to try to make them about the same size, but if they're not quite the same size, that is totally fine. I'm using skinny markers, but you can use whatever you have at home to draw your people. I just think they look super funny with all their different kinds of hair. So I'm going to go through and first do all the different kinds of hair. Our first person is going to have straight up hair. You can use whatever color you want, but the hair goes straight up. <laughs> Next, I'm going to draw hair that is wavy. Can you imagine if you had sticking up blue hair that looked like this? Ah, that'd be so silly. Next, I'm going to make zigzag hair. Next person is going to have loop de loop hair. I'll make another loop there. Next, we're going to have hair that is like. Well, not like little waves, but it's kind of arced like this. I'm gonna make it both directions. Ah, so silly. Our next hair is going to be curly Q hair. hair that looks like scallops a little bit uh, or the cloud shape like this and our last one is going to have the hair that looks like the waves I'm going to turn my paper because I think it would be better for me to do this a different way. So I'm going to do waves like this. And then another one. One more. Okay, there's our silly hair. The next thing I'm going to do is add faces. I'm going to use black for that, but you can use whatever color you want. For our, our straight up hair guy, I'm going to do two eyebrows and I'm going to make some eyes and a nose, and a mouth, and two ears. On our wavy hair, I'm gonna do two eyebrows, but I'm gonna change their shape a little bit. How about if it, they're pointy eyebrows? 
two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. He's going to do a part of the mouth. On our zigzag hair, I'm going to make two eyes, but I'm going to make it look like he's laughing. And then big mouth. I'm going to show some teeth. And then a little teeny nose. And ooh, some pointed ears. What did I forget to do on him? Ears. I do some teeny ears. <laughs> Our next guy, let's see. How about if he has big, long eyebrows? I'm going to make some eyes that make him look like he's a little bit surprised. And a different kind of nose and a mouth that looks like he's saying, ah, I'm surprised. <laughs> okay, what kind of ears should he have? Well, I'm going to do a little bit different than this, but make him a little pointy. <laughs> he looks funny. For our guy with the arched hair, how about two eyebrows. I'm going to make his eyes look like he's looking to the side. And the way to do that is to color the eyeball going only one way like this. A square nose and a really teeny mouth and hmm, ear shape. Let's see, I've got pointy, I've got round. How about square or rectangular? Or the curly cute guy. Here's his eyes. Here's his nose. Mouth over here like this. And I'm going to make some rumply looking ears. Hmm. The hair that sort of looks like the scallops. How about two eyes? And I'm going to put some eyelashes on each of them. Those are some big eyelashes. And a small little nose. And a big smile. And let's see. Hmm. I think I'll do really big rounded ears. Our last guy, some big eyes. I'm going to draw eyeballs, but not color them in. And a round nose. And a little sideways mouth. And, hmm, how about if we do some square ears? And there are our silly looking people with all different hair and eyes and noses and mouths and ears. I hope you had fun. Come back again and we'll have other lessons.